Oh, where Philadelphia is? I do. My dad's from Philadelphia. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> That's see. exactly where that is. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's the only place where you can get cream cheese, too. The cream cheese <laughs> comes from Philly? Okay. There you go. Okay. All right, now we turn it on. Look at that. And it's so easy when you have the other ones, it has all the riches, so it's very difficult mm -hmm. to get everything out. Okay. Look at that. Mm. Okay, all we right. made enough for two. One for <laughs> you and one for me. I love it. All right, well, that is the last item of our mm. first hour, so stay with us. We have lots of things going on Good, here right? at HSN, including up to 30% off and five flex pay on select Wolfgang Puck items. We would love for you to go to hsn.com and put in Wolfgang Puck's name after the show so you can check out all the deals, those mixing bowls. I love those mixing bowls. I have a set. I've given them away as gifts to several people, including the guy who does my hair. I just, he gave, he's a good chef, and he want, I sent him those bowls. I, everybody loves those bowls. Those bowls are incredible. Um, there's actually mini bowls as well. That's new to have the mini bowls available. But it's ready to Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so, and when we're looking at hsn.com, there's pretty much an entire collection, including the pressure oven. And the pressure oven is coming up in this final hour of the visit. So that's coming up, and you're saying, what is a pressure oven? Imagine if you could cook a full turkey in not six hours, but one hour. Have it be juicy on the inside and crispy on the outside. That's what a pressure oven is, and we're gonna be doing that here live. We've got another price break. It's not $349.95, it's $229.95, and free shipping and handling. If you have a condo or an RV, that's all you need to do everything. But we're gonna jump into hour number two and the final hour of the visit with Chef Wolfgang Puck. We've got a lot of great things and we're gonna start out with a way for you to make those delicious poached eggs. And I'll tell you, I've tried to make the poached eggs by boiling the water, Marianne, and putting in the vinegar and stirring it. <laughs> and it always comes out as egg drop soup. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm, so I'm not glad you made the pan. I, I've tried, it was a, it was a fail. <laughs> I could do a video about all the fails of making poached <laughs> eggs. But this, it comes with an insert for poaching eggs and it's only $39.95 on a price break the item numbers five eight five five two five and I love that he made it so easy because it's just a great nonstick skillet for all the things that we like to do. But then with the little insert, which you can just pick up with it on, this one is hot, but then you can just put a little bit of water okay. underneath and actually each one of the cups lift up. Oh, I'm praying that Wolfgang comes over and saves me because I'm not as good at this as he is. Okay. But I love the nonstick, <laughs> you just it. drop the egg. Please save me, Wolf. Please save me, what Please. do you mean? You have a husband for that. <laughs> He's here too, okay. Yeah. And then look, isn't that nice? Oh, look at that, yeah. that's perfect. Oh, now, if you do, do you... it perfect, I can go home. No, no never. Do you spray yeah. something in there? Huh? You can, you, you can? put a little butter. Okay. Yeah, I put a little butter in it, a little butter? Okay. or a little touch of olive oil, or sometimes I even put a little bit of salsa underneath, and oh, okay. a little tomato sauce or something to give it different flavor. Oh, look now, at that. Now you also can cook just like that okay. in here, you know, so. This is this? really hot. Is it too yeah. hot? No, it's too hot. Too hot for that? Okay. Yeah. Because okay. we've got a really gooey uh, grilled cheese to show how great your nonstick is if you yeah. want it. Yeah. Well, I think it's gonna. It's somebody put it on a much. really hot fire here. Okay. Do we have another one? Um, no? Yes, right there. But we're gonna just. So if you wanna just make sauteed eggs, you know, any kind of eggs, give me a bowl. Here's one co cool. Do you want that one? Okay, whatever you want. I'll get have. it. I'll get it. Here. Okay. Okay, thank you. I think it's good to teach eggs because they terrify a lot of us. You know, them, a lot you know? of people when they cook eggs, they mm -hmm. say, okay, I need a non-stick. Mm -hmm. And it's true right. if you are scared to heat up your pan. But we in the restaurant, we don't use non-stick, we use even cast iron for it. So now, let's see how hot that is. Give me a little oil from over here. So I'm gonna just put a little olive oil. We always cook with olive oil. Okay. And then, we put our eggs in here. And you can see, look at that. Wow. Wow. Nothing Beautiful. sticks. So easy to work with. 
Put a little salt and a little pepper on here, and that's it. So $39.95. This is only $13.32. Yeah. So maybe you've been watching Wolfgang Puck and you've said, gosh, I've always wanted something, but maybe maybe you don't want to get the whole 17-piece set that we have on a big special, or you need one nonstick pan. This is the way to do it. And if you're like me, and, and you, Benedict right is here. like your favorite food in the world, but you can't quite manage the poached eggs, which I know I can't, this okay, is a perfect way. Okay, do you put some way. eggs in here? In yeah. the okay, here, look at that. So just to make regular eggs, you can see it's so easy. They come out perfectly. Nice. All right, I put it right here, and then, what are you gonna do with the big pan of steak? Nothing, I hope you do. <laughs> How much time do we have? We, we have six minutes, minutes and 53 have. seconds, so this has not been on the entire visit. This is the first time you guys are seeing this. <laughs> this is a 10-inch non-stick skillet, which is kind of something that everybody, you know, it's kind of a basic that everybody needs. This one right. comes with a perfectly nested yeah, poacher. Yeah, yeah. So if you love poached eggs, and I'll bet you there's other things you can do with the, them as well. It looks All like right, you could do like little dippers, too. Yeah. You could put little chocolate. Chocolate in them because yeah. it's almost like a little double boiler each one of those yeah. so you could do anything that you want to keep you know you could even do little cheeses to dip in little baby fondue things all sorts of things right really okay. cute idea now here yeah. we have I'm gonna make a great breakfast Sunday okay Mother's Day Father's Day so you start with a little beef tenderloin okay and we're gonna see it just in the same pan and Marianne gonna make me the poached egg here okay okay and then bring me the salsa from over there, mm. my salsa. Okay, we're gonna get that for you. Yeah, come remember and come I made up. salsa in the blender. Okay. All right. And then you just crack Aww. the eggs right in there. Yeah. So easy. Well, if not, you always can put it in a... Uh, like a bowl and In a bowl it and slide it in. It's yeah. a little safer for a lot of Should people. Should I do that? No, it's Yeah, you okay. know what you're yeah, doing. You can do it. Show <laughs> them how we normally do it when you're not as professional as you. All right, okay, here. Let's put the cover on. Did you turn the heat up? Okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And, and, right. and again, this is just five minutes. Really, really quick. This has not been on for the visit. This is the last hour of the visit. Yeah. We love all the phone calls. We'd love those to keep coming. Our toll-free testimonial line is one 866 Three seven six eight two five five, or you can always stay on the line after you order. Um, and again, I'm I'm more of a baker and less of a chef. Yeah, okay, I feel very confident with nonstick. Yeah. I feel like I'm, you know, it's like I can't make a mistake. It makes me feel all good. Oh, there's your salsa. I love it. Yeah. So we're gonna put a little steak, a little salsa, and the poached egg on top. Oh, okay. Oh, what a great no, idea. No, I don't need it. Uh, just to show oh. how we normally put it in here. Sorry, is it? Oh, okay, so yeah, you can put it like in a little ramekin and just yeah. pour the egg in yeah, exactly. if you don't want to just crack it right in. Yeah. So, so you can do it either easier. way. It's a little yeah. easier, right? So that, I love that. Yeah. Um, and, you know, is there other things besides eggs? I mean, I just had like a few ideas, but I'm sure you guys know more stuff that you well, can do. Well, I think you can use the pan for many things. R many we things, build yeah. the top here really for you for your poached, poached eggs. eggs. Because yeah. poached eggs are very hard to do at home. You very know, You hard. go to the restaurant, you have eggs Benedict for example, where do we have the muffins out there every day? Yeah. You know how much you pay for it. You yeah. actually can make your hollandaise sauce, which goes over it in the blender because it heats it up oh, to the yeah, degree you want. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea yeah. in the blender. Absolutely. Because so, it's a very simple hollandaise sauce. I was yeah, surprised. It's how lemon many juice, big? salt and pepper, pepper, and butter, basically. Y yeah, it's a very, like, three or four ingredients. Yeah. It's really simple. Make that but in the blender. If you do it over a... Water, water bath or a boiler, a double boiler, it takes forever to whisk it. So with this oh. uh, machine, with our blender, it's so much easier. Oh, well, there you go. Look, look how beautiful they come yeah. out. See? Nice and seared. So if you put a little touch of oil in here, it really colors it beautiful and yeah. it cooks it beautifully. And, and, and you're good to go. And for $39.95, what a steal. Now that's a yeah. price break for the visit. The visit ends in less than an hour. The whole the whole visit's over. Yeah. And then we're gonna, you know, Wolfgang goes back into his private jet, into his private island in Maui. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Going straight to Maui. I'm using that. your plane this oh, time. Oh, my plane, you're gonna use my yeah, plane? Yeah. Okay. I'll my, make sure it's, big, my pilot has it full of gas. I have this big <laughs> private plane. Yeah. It's a 737. Oh, yeah? It's, the only problem with it is 
somebody wrote Southwest at the end. <laughs> I don't did. know why. That was rude. I know. <laughs> so I, rude. I feel like, what the heck? <laughs> exactly. I don't know why they do that. I don't know. Um, so, you know, it, I love the prices that we're doing here. And we've got all the features that you love, plus a five-year warranty. Five years. And you think a non-stick, it usually doesn't okay. have that warranty. It usually, you know, maybe you get a year or two um, out of it. You're like, your fingers are crossed. This is tempered. You know, five-year warranty. You've got, yeah. you know, all those great features. No. And it, plus, you get the insert, so you're able to do that. By the way, the pan is oven safe to 400 mm. degrees, and with the lid, it's 350. Yeah. Mm, okay, there you go. Look at that. And this, by the way, is not repeated in the 17-piece cookware set. Yeah. So if you got the cookware set, you could still get this to kind of round that out. There's no, it's not, you know, repeated. So if you want to, if you want to do that. So we've got like another 30 seconds okay, left. Okay, all right. I get my eggs <laughs> up here because the poached eggs takes another minute. Yeah. Okay, and then put the filet on here. Oh, look at that. Okay, look, easy cleanup. And then you just put the little eggs on top? Put the little eggs on top here. Oh, I broke one already. All right, here, steak and egg. That looks beautiful, look then at that. Then you put a little bit of the salsa on top, a little greenery on top, and you're done. Oh, look at that. Okay, so the item number is 585-525. Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. And, um, you know, no carbs. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. I, I also want to remind you guys of the 17-piece cookware set if you're just tuning in. Um, this is the last opportunity, by the way, because that free shipping handling goes away at midnight. You're getting the two-quart, the three-quart, the four-quart. You're getting the eight-inch, the 10-inch, the 13-inch. Plus, you're getting all the utensils and the lids, oven safe to 400 degrees. It's that tri-ply where you've got aluminum, no hot spots, even heating, professional cookware. It's what Chuck Wolf Gang Puck uses himself in all the restaurants, and this is a crazy price. So you can keep order that. Now, if you're a wine lover, stay tuned because we have a whole set coming up. We're going to be opening up some bottles. We might be drinking some, but we're yeah. definitely going to be opening them well, up. But to drink it, we have to open them. Exactly. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Computers, printers, cameras, fitness equipment, and even jewelry can be covered with a plan that offers repair or replacement should a failure occur. And portable electronics have accidental damage from handling, which covers unintentional mishaps like everyday drops, spills, and cracked screens. It's easy to add when you are checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. for watching HSN. I'm Helen Keeney here with Chef Wolfgang Puck. This is a great giftable. It's a six piece wine tool set and a exactly. customer pick. Everybody loves it. Comes in this beautiful box. I know that's what yeah. I love. So if you want to bring somebody a present, yeah. look at that here. You show up with that, they're going to say, oh my God, this looks amazing. Yeah. How much money did you spend? But it's less than a good bottle of wine. Way less really than a good bottle of wine. Oh, yeah. so, and what is great with that, people are going to use it for a long time. Right, a bottle exactly. of wine, you drink it, an hour later it's gone, it's the gone. bottle is in the trash, <laughs> yeah, recycled, go. and God knows where it goes. And this is a big kit. You get a lot of things in this. You, you get, get so many things. Look at that. You get Obviously, a the big wine opener, the stopper, the aerator. And this, we don't have champagne or sparkling wine here. This is the champagne stopper. This is really an important part. Like, if I open a bubbles? bottle of champagne, you put that on top, you clamp it down just like that, but this is not wine, it's not even open yet, so put it on like that. And then all your 
bubbles stay inside. So if you want some Prosecco, if you want sparkling wine or champagne, right. tomorrow it's going to be exactly the same it's thing. It's mimosas for breakfast. Nothing. Because you have a little some left. I love okay, that. A little orange juice or yeah, a little, little orange juice, a little whatever that. you like. You're, yeah. all you're all done. So uh, it, it's a big, big configuration of the um, aerator, the wine stopper, the champagne recorker, yeah. and the wine opener. And it does come with a gift box and two replacement corkscrews are yeah. in included. Now look how easy it is to say. It comes like that. You open it up, put it on top of your bottle, and you don't really have to worry it if it's in the center. It goes automatically in the center. Then you pour it down, and then you take it up, and you have the cork right out here. Wow, that was okay. so fast. No breakage on the side, no nothing. Completely straight, it goes in. And then, if you have a young wine, it's better when you aerate it a little bit. So, or if you don't open it like five hours before or something, you put the aerator on and then you pour it just like that. You can see? Oh, it you aerates see the it. bubbles? Oh yeah, as, as it goes. It's, yeah. yeah, so that's really the best way to make even the youngest wine taste more than it mm -hmm. really is, more complex because oxygen really releases the bouquet of the wine and then you taste it and smell it and say, wow, this is amazing. All right, and also we have the long neck wine decanter. And yeah. this decanter is a perfect five-star customer pick. Uh, you know what? Everybody it loves it. It is heavy glass. It is easy to work with and when you decant it, then people always think, Wow, that must be a delicious, a really important wine because, yes, because you you're go treating to France or in Napa yeah. or wherever it is, you get the wine, they always decant it. But many times then you don't know what it is. So you put that on the center of the table just like that. Mm -hmm. People are going to say, wow, this looks really a very nice household. And then it also aerates the wine. And then it's easy to pour because it has the hole in here. And remember, when you pour, you pour wine, that's about as much as you should put in the glass. Maybe if you put a little more like this. Okay. It's better a little at a time than too much. You know, yeah, some people fill up the glass like that unless you're really cheap and so tell them you want your glass full. But yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the way to go. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Um, so this is a beautiful gift. You know, Mother's Day is coming up. Father's Day, Father's Mother's Day. Day graduation, and you know, especially for women weddings. often. This is a great if, wedding present too. Exactly. If you have these corkscrews and you try to open it up, you try to get it in here straight and then you want to pull it out, you put it in between your legs and pull it and you break the cork. Yeah. Just show me. Uh, okay, good. The, look at that, aerates the wine as it yeah. pours, which is so, yeah. so important and such an easy step. Yeah. It's just, you're simply pouring it out. You just put it in and, and that's all you have to do. And by the way, read the reviews at the bottom of the screen. Um, as usual with Wolfgang Puck Kitchen Items, yeah. it does not disappoint, A+. plus. I mean, I, I would definitely recommend this to anyone who likes wine. It would make a great gift. But even so if giftable. you're a novice in wine, you don't yeah. really know about wine much. So you start by being able to open the bottles <laughs> right. really easy. And this will never fail because all you have to do is put it on top here and hold it together here. Clamp it together, it's easy. Put it in, take it out, and here you have it. And the cork is right here. Look at that. And that's it. So when you don't drink all the wines, then you pour a little bit. Yeah. And I showed you that already, how right. to taste wine. You know how to taste wine? Do you just kind of swirl it around to get So the... you swirl it like against the clock like that. Are you a wine connoisseur, you know? I, am not, I do love wine. Okay, so now <laughs> when you do that or somebody brings you the wine or you're invited to somebody's house, you get the wine, you go like that. Okay. Then you smell it, go slow. It's like making love. You don't want to go fast. You want to <laughs> enjoy it. Okay. Mmm. And then you say, very complex. <laughs> He's an expert. Yeah. All right. That's what the expert do. Even if you don't know nothing about wine, you're saying, mmm, <laughs> very complex. <laughs> very complex. So that pretty much is, covers everything. Yeah, yeah. You can say that in any situation. Yeah. Or if you don't say the next time, you say, 
Mm, very interesting. <laughs> That's if you don't like it. <laughs> no, even if you like oh, it, if it's you okay. Like it. Okay, interesting and complex. Yeah. All right, well, $49.95 for the entire, and the lesson was free, by the way. But um, if you want to get this whole set home, I love yeah. that. In the, box, the box is very sturdy. It's not like a little kind of cardboard. It's a beautiful box. And you, you box. get the stopper here, too, with mm -hmm. the beer opener and everything, all everything together. It's a great present, I think, for $49. Yeah. You can't go wrong. Because and we, we have a couple other gifts. We have a wine chiller and a decanter that I want to show you yeah. as well because we showed it out here But I want to give you the item number. It's only $29.95. It looks like very expensive by the way perfect five-star customer pick So every single person who, or, who ordered this and got it home said I love it And we only have, we have less than 500 of those yeah. at $29.95 not that we won't bring it back But it'll be $49.95 um, We also have a wine chiller and I'm I prefer white wine and I like it really cold right Yeah, I, put it here. We're gonna drink it, uh, yeah, we'll drink it throughout the show. That's right, part of the, the job. Bottle. Give me yeah. the open bottle. <laughs> because it, it's really, I don't like, you know, kind of lukewarm wine. So you have a chiller. And yeah. by the way, th there's not ice splashing no everywhere ice either. You just put the chiller in your yeah. freezer and keep it like that. It, it definitely. And that's, that's a, by the way, a professional it. chiller that you'll see like at a fine, fine restaurant. It's only $24.95. I do want to show you the bowls. This is kind of, kind of my all-time favorite Wolfgang Puck item. Eight-piece stainless steel mixing bowl. They have the silicone base so it doesn't slide around the table when you're baking and by the way if you make something you could just put the lid on and then put it right in the refrigerator so the refrigerator to cooking um, you could put your mixer in it and then right to the table I, I and this is again I've given these as gifts many many times and I have a set myself in the red um, but we've got a lot more coming up the pressure oven we're getting ready right now and we'll see you back right after this there's no better love than customer love. Our customers make us head over heels happy. How do we love you? Let us count the ways. At HSN, our customers are a very big deal. So we filled the month with special savings, deals, exclusive offers for HSN cardholders, and even a few surprises. It's just our way of saying thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because the very best thing about us is you. Discover the newest way to create a style all your own. The HSN Style Edit. A curated look at the season's best, most original finds for every part of your life. We decode the trends, share tips and how-tos, and give you the inspiration you need to style it your way. It's the joy of the hunt and the thrill of the find. Your unique style is here. Discover it now, exclusively at hsn.com. Well, this is the last item in the last show of the visit with Wolfgang Puck. Now, I do have a few other things that we have a couple left from the visit. If you missed it, I only have 400 left of the eight quart pressure cooker and it's on sale for $30 off just $99.95. I uh, know this is the eight quart, the big one. The big one. So the 99, uh, uh, so we've got $99.95 as price. I have red and blue only. Yeah. So we've got two colors left and that's it. And it's under $20 to get home. And that is, uh, you know, a favorite for those of us who only think about dinner when we get yeah. hungry and it's fast and I work and I love my pressure cooker. I probably use that. It's my go-to. 552682 and a big customer pick, by the way, as well. Yeah. Also very popular during the entire visit was the 1400 watt electric countertop baker, which is also at a price break. It's on a clearance price of just $49.95. So if you've always, you know, maybe you've seen a presentation, you've always wanted it. Now the price is so crazy. Uh, it's got temperature control, a uh, power light, ready light, ready to go countertop Can baker. I get the, the spoons over there? Yeah, and the perforated dish. And, and by the way, perfect for pizza. The spoons. Yeah. And you can crisp on top and underneath. And this baker is, uh, you, you have a viewing window and uh, it's ready to go. And of course, um, th there you go. A, a lot of variety of food. And by the way, when you get anything here, you can go to hsn.com. By the way, the pressure cooker oven, which is coming up next, there is a pressure cooker cookbook that we have available by Marion Getz, who is out here on the floor with us at 19.95 on a break. So if you want to get over 100 recipes and everything has a picture as well. So that's 441-711. So now we're going to go on. And if someone says, what is a pressure oven? I've heard of a pressure cooker, uh -huh. but not a pressure oven. What is a pressure oven? Well, a pressure oven, you know, a regular stovetop. You put it in, in the oven, but it has no pressure. 
So this one is a low pressure oven. What does it do? It's hermetically sealed. So no flavor and moisture escapes. So it infuses your turkey, your chicken with all the flavor and it keeps it super moist. But just like a pressure cooker, if you cook a turkey, they tell you in between 15 and 20 minutes. So here you can put in up to 14, 15 pounds of turkey and it cooks it in 55 to 60 minutes. And then you let it rest a little bit and you're done. Normally 15 by 20, it's like four hours, you know? So, so 14 pound turkey in one hour. In one hour. And so it's gonna be juicy on the inside, crisp on the crispy, outside. Crispy, beautifully roasted in the outside. Okay. Or a chicken, on a rotisserie you can cook it too. It has a rotisserie, you can make your pizzas in there. Everything, the bigger the pizzas are, the faster they cook. If it's prime rib, you name it. Or, I'm gonna show you, everybody ask me to do that again. This is an Indian style rice pilaf. Oh. A lot of Indians are vegetarians. Okay. You know, they don't eat meat. So I'm gonna show you in the pressure oven. Okay. This is pan, comes with it. So, I have rice here. Okay. All right, and we need the same amount of liquid. So always, just like in my pressure cooker, it's 50-50, it's liquid to one rice. To, one to one, yeah. One to one, okay. Then, okay, put that in here. Then, you add a little ginger, a little touch of garlic here, not too much, and then some almonds if you like them, coconut if you like them. Here we have a little coconut too, look at that, everything. And then I'm gonna add pineapple, chopped up pineapple, some bell peppers or tomatoes or whatever you like. And then, okay, let's get it colorful. Maybe some eggplants. Oh, I love eggplant. Maybe some cauliflower. All right. That. A little zucchini. A little mushroom. A few raisins. Are you writing that down, I Marianne? I love it. Okay. I'm so hungry looking at it. Okay. It looks so good. Then we're going to add curry powder. Okay. As much or as little as you want. Maybe turmeric as much as you little as you want to make it a nice color, but also it's very good for you. Okay, yeah. then some salt. We didn't put salt yet, so if you want to cook without salt, you can do it, but I like a little salt in here. Mm -hmm. And then some olive oil or some butter. Olive oil is good for you. So now you stir that up oh, really it well. so good. Mm. Yeah, already now. And you will see in 30 minutes, you're going to have the most delicious meal. You don't going to even think about asking for a pork chop or a chicken breast or whatever, you can eat that. So for all you vegetarian out there, this is for you. So that cooks for 30 minutes in yeah, the pressure oven. In the pressure oven. So now we're gonna put foil on top, a big piece here. Okay, so you try to close it up pretty well. So and it seals in. To, you, yeah, you seal it in, but not too much. I'm gonna make some holes in it. Why? You want the pressure to penetrate the inside of your rice, so I just keep it like that so it cooks it better. Okay. All right, and then with a the knife. Kind of venting it. Yeah. There so you go. So now we are ready. So okay. now we need an empty oven. Which one we take out? Roast is ready. Does that huh? sound good? Pot okay. roast? All right. Okay. All right, let's Pot start. Pot roast or potatoes are ready. And oh, by the show way. Show us how to use it. All right. Okay, am I in the way? Okay, when I put it back in. So here I have pot roast in here. So you can cook it in your pressure cooker, but also in your pressure oven. So do you have to depressurize it before you open it? Like yeah, I'm gonna cooker? show you everything okay. now. Okay, so now I'm gonna put that in here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put it at 450. Now I'm gonna close it. Okay. Put the lever down. You see this lever? Yeah. That has to be down. That has if to be down not. in order for being yeah. pressure. And then you put it on roast or bake. And here you see the valve, you put it on seal. Okay. See that? Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna put the timer on 30 minutes. Okay. And there it now is. Now you can do whatever you want. All right. We and put everything it. on it. You can see it's working. The green light is on, which means it's heating in here. 
Okay, and then that was the pot roast you made. Now, about how long does it take to make a pot roast in this? Okay. This now, one was an hour and a half. Yeah. But it, it's smaller. Okay, so about an hour and a half. Well, yep. You would think you would, you know, cook that all day long. I know. So it's so easy, so simple. All right. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Look at that. And again, look, I can cut it with a spoon. My, with a spoon. Look at that. Oh, it smells so yeah. good. Look at that. Yum. Mm. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, you don't even need a knife. So put it. And, and in the summer, how great is it that you don't heat up the whole kitchen? Exactly. You, you know, don't heat you're up not, the kitchen. Because you would never roast a turkey. But yeah. how about, you know, in the summer, but how about turkey salad and turkey taco but you, night? You know what? And it's so inexpensive, turkey also. Turkey is inexpensive, and with my pressure oven, mm -hmm. you're gonna start eating turkey more often, not only at Thanksgiving. Why? Because it tastes delicious, it yeah. makes it nice and brown, but also the most important part is it stays juicy. So, yeah, okay. and it's also very, it's a very inexpensive meat. Exactly, instead yeah. of buying turkeys for your sandwich, which yeah. you, it's all preservatives, a right. lot of salt so you can in it. You slice it up for turkey yeah. sandwiches, and if you buy that Are we done with our turkey? Oh, we got a turkey here? Uh, should we wait? Oh, yeah, let's wait, let's wait for the pork roast is done. Okay, no, it, because it says five more minutes on here, so. Okay, let's <laughs> leave right. it five more minutes. And by the way, we're here live if you want to call in. Our toll-free testimonial line is 1-866-376-8255. Yeah. We, we've got um, a cookbook as well, but there are recipes that are included. But if you want to do all sorts of the fun things that we're seeing here, you can do anything from, you know, carnitas to soup. You can do, um, you know, pasta Ooh. salad and shrimp pizza and all sorts of, all sorts of amazing, uh, you know, all sorts of amazing dishes to yeah. have the pressure oven. You know, summer's coming, don't heat up the kitchen. Real quick, real easy, under Ooh, $20. Hot, hot. And oh, look at how gorgeous. Now look at that, a lasagna Ooh, here. And how so long do you, you cook can this? bake, you can roast, you can steam in there, whatever you like. This is the only oven you will ever need. I use mine at home all the time right. because I have this big oven, this big stove. By the time my oven heats up, here it's cooked already. It's already yeah. like 20, it's like preheat for 15, 20 minutes, you're already halfway done cooking. Exactly. And if you if you have like, if you entertain a lot and your oven is done, you know, your oven is occupied, you've got to wait for yeah. something to be done cooking. This is like redoing your and, kitchen. And you know, my knees are pretty bad. I have very little cartilage left. And for me to go down underneath and get this thing out, it's oh, very difficult. So it's like so counter level. Now it's oh, at wonderful. the counter level. I can look into it so it makes life so much oh, easier. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that looks so good. Look at that, a beautiful lasagna here. Mmm. Mm. And that, that is, uh, I mean, oh. <laughs> it, it's I faster in the pressure oven, but also oh, the meat gets yeah. infused with the juiciness, exactly, just like the pressure cooker. Exactly, so it comes out perfect. You want me to mm. show me how yeah. we make our favorite vegetables at home? Oh, Galila, right? Yeah, Galila is often, she says, uh, uh, she says, Wolfgang, I'm a, vegetarian, so we use a lot of sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes, potatoes, okay. onions, carrots, you name it. Then we put a little sage, a little bit of thyme in here, or rosemary, whatever you like. And all we do is put a little olive oil on top. And I remember when my friend Erica came over one day, she's a vegetarian, I made that as a side dish. Her husband loves beef, we had also a beef roast. Right. And she tasted that. She says, how do you make it? I <laughs> never had vegetable taste so good. Right. It's, and, it's the pressure. And it's the pressure because no flavor escapes, no moisture escapes. You don't have to add moisture, so it stays mm -hmm. just like that. You don't have to cover They're them. They're not all dried out. It's not dried yeah. out. It's roasted to perfection. Oh, and look, I'm looking at that garlic. I love roasted garlic. Yeah. It's so delicious. And how long will it take to cook the vegetables? Well, this takes about 20 minutes, maybe. And, that's and it. you have perfect vegetables. Perfect. So Everything. we have an empty one. Okay. Yeah. Now look at that. Okay. Huh? And then All you right. have to secure it. Okay, so look one more time here. I close the door here. And then I put the lever down. I put it on seal on top here. Now I'm gonna put it to 400, roast or bake, and here's the timer. We're gonna put it 
or 20 minutes. So now you can do whatever you want, go wherever you want, and you are done. By the way, the, the dimensions is less than 20 inches. If you want to know uh, where's this going to go on my counter, it doesn't take up a huge amount of space for the huge amount of use you're going to get through it. It's uh -huh. um, 12 and a half inches high and 19 and 7 eighths in the length, and the width is 15 and a half inches. Yeah. So that's it's not a, a huge perfect footprint. size. It's like yeah. a big toaster oven. Right, so exactly. it goes perfectly. Now come over here with your camera. Look, here we have our turkey in here. Oh boy, that's what I'm waiting to see. Let me show you what we do, okay? You got it? You put yeah. the lever on releasing. You release the pressure. Just takes a few seconds. And then you pull up the lever once you, you can hear the you, thing here. You can hear the pressure relieving, You can right? hear the pressure relieving, yeah. I, get, I don't have a lot of time here, so we're gonna open that up. See? Okay. Yeah. You see the, the oh, steam and that. go close now. Look at that in here. Oh see boy. That? that is a full, now that's like a 14 pound turkey. Yeah. Right? Is that what that 14 is? 14 and a half pound turkey. 14 and a half pound turkey and it's about an hour. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's really, you, you think about that. And look at the beautiful oh. color. Oh my gosh. It looks like a baking duck. And that's the difference between the pressure cooker yeah. and the pressure and, oven. And it it's gives crispy. The when you touch it, it's crispy. You can yeah. hear it. Yeah, yeah. Look at you that. Oh, it's gorgeous. And, and what I also love about it is the white meat is not going to be dry. Exactly. This really, oh, there so is good. no better way to cook a turkey. If you just buy it for that, you will come a believer and you will get back to us and do even more so. Okay, let me put that here. Mm -hmm. This fork is a little Beautiful. light. Yeah. All right. Look then we have to cut off the string here. All right. Give me a towel. There you go. Okay, good. Yeah, and again, juicy white meat. Yeah. On an hour to cook it in this pressure oven at 229.95, free shipping and handling. Together. And then you've got All flex right. pay, so 45.99. And in the summer, when it's boiling hot, and you don't want to roast the whole house. And by the way, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ovens going, and it's yeah. not. I'm not feeling any any of the heat. It's now look, not, look it's at that. So we're gonna all. cut it right down oh, where the bone that. is here, and then go this way. All right. Okay, where's the, the joint? I have to find the joint right here it is. Okay, oh and gosh. look, look at, that. at that. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. And you can even cut some of it up and freeze it, yeah. you know. So now you can have your turkey. Take off the Look at that. Leg here. Voila. Pretty. I'm not good at fat. Oh, here it you is. You are. Okay. There you go. All Look right. That. And wow. slice the turkey mm. up into pieces. And then I'm going to show you one thing you really have to see. Okay. Look at that. The juice coming out. See? That is the breast meat. Just dripping yeah. with juice. Now, let's come over here to see it better with you. Come over here. Okay. Because of the, your black apron? The black apron. Oh, okay, yeah. You see that? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I, I mean, it is gorgeous. Yeah. It's just so, you know, I, I, I was going to say, that's one of the reasons I'm nervous to cook a turkey, because that dry, Yeah, you know, normally it comes out uh, dry, dry but as a bone. That's why you have gravy. Us. Yeah. You add all that gravy because it's so dry, but you don't even need gravy. You can make, you know, delicious, you know, turkey dinner one night, turkey yeah. tacos another night, turkey tetrazzini, turkey salad, and so, it, you know, really pennies. It's, it's so inexpensive, and you do think about something yeah, once a year, and you don't think about it in the summer because it's so, hot, you know, it's hot and you don't want to roast the whole house. Take it. Under an hour, yeah. in that little oven, 20 inches on your counter, 19 and 7 eighths of an inch. That's how, that's the length of it. Just pop it there. You're ready to go. And you know, there really is n not a lot of things like this out on the market. Yeah. It's not like you're going to go to a store and see 25. And I bet look, you if you have a pressure uh, oven, it's going to be see, way more. Look at that. I cut the nice oh, thing. Out. Look how tender you have and how delicious that. it is. That looks so delicious. L and look at that again. See that? It's just dripping with juice. Yeah, I just see it like rotated. pouring yeah. off of there. You put a spoon on it, look at that. There's no turkey. When you cook it in your regular oven, they're pressed, you get it so juicy. 
And then we have to clean up the lake. I know, I know. I know. It's, it's so juicy. So, good, so right? the best thing, we don't have the time. I will tell you what I, I do. <laughs> what? Is what do do? I let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that and way. And that seals the juices. That in. way, mm -hmm. it, the juices stay even better in, and that way you have the best meat ever. Do you do anything special to the turkey to make it that juicy? Did you no, add oil do, or do anything? Nothing. To you, it? you don't have to brine it. You don't you have, have to, to brine do it nothing. or anything. You oh. can if you want to, but you don't have to oh, because boy, look at that. here with the pressure oven, all the moisture is right in here. Oh my gosh. And you look look at that. That is so beautiful. Where's my fork? Mm. That looks amazing. I, I might have to use my hands. <laughs> no, your fork. <laughs> look at that. So now you can make the best turkey dinner. You want some cranberries with it or what? I want a little piece. I want you to cut me a little piece because I need to try this. It okay, looks good. so gorgeous. I mean, it's just, I mean, when I look at this, it's just so incredibly mm. tender. Yeah. Mm. It'll make you a believer. Right? If right. Yummy. Yummy. It's so delicious. Wow. I mean, I would feel so confident. I would, it would take away all my anxiety I around know. all the holidays. Mm -hmm. Because I always have that feeling like, I, ho I hope the turkey comes out. If the turkey doesn't come out, I've got all these people sitting around a table staring at me, and I'm getting them to be honest. You know <laughs> I, mean? uh -oh, I feel that and pressure. And other dried turkey. Mm, but look, right, even the so skin. Good. Look at that. Skin is crispy. Oh. And I love so your good. story, Wolfgang, when you were entertaining for Thanksgiving and you waited. I know. When I had, that was mm. years ago, like three years ago when mm -hmm. we started the pressure oven. My, my brother with his wife came over, and they had their daughter was like, a year old, they come to see me in the kitchen, they look at my turkey on the table raw. <laughs> and you should see, she made this big eye, she's from Pennsylvania, and yeah. says, what time are we eating? My <laughs> kid goes to sleep at 7 or right. 7.30. Right, right. And that was like at 5. Right. I said, we're going to eat at 6. He said, so what are you going to do with these turkeys? I said, I'm going to cook them. <laughs> Then yeah. I put oil on it, put a little rosemary in the cavity, and I cooked it one hour later. One turkey was ready. Yeah. As the one turkey was ready, I put the other one in. I let the first one rest like for 10, 15 minutes, sliced it, put some of my cranberries like this on it. Look at that. Look at that. And then we ate it, and then the other one, when it was ready, it came out. She begged me and says, can I take some home, no. please? This is the best turkey I ever ate in my whole life. Oh, it, 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 it is, it is the, it's the juiciest turkey I've ever had, and I've eaten yeah. a lot of turkeys, but you know, usually you do reserve it. And imagine that, look, what a great summer dinner. Yeah, a summer so dinner. you have that, and you know what? It's easy, Four it's crisps. inexpensive. How much mm -hmm. does the turkey cost, Marianne? That was about 79 cents a pound. So 79 really great cents price. a pound, yeah. yeah a so great it's like $12 the whole turkey. Yeah, I mean, and by Four the way, crust. off season, oh, you can get them on sale. Yeah. So they'll they'll be on sale. And sometimes, you know, if you want like turkey sandwiches, you get that, you know, the turkey with the, you know, sodium pressed, you know, turkey parts and everything. And it's, it's a bit more expensive. How about fresh turkey sandwiches? Yeah. Which is why we love having turkey dinners is all the leftovers. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at mm. really roast that ham. Oh, so we wow. put this amazing glaze on top here. And while we talk so much, it got a little dark, but that's the way I like it anyway. Me too. Yeah. Oh, you know, I love up. bread when it's dark. Mm -hmm. I like everything cooked really brown in the outside. I think if America tasted with their taste buds instead of their eyes, they yeah. would choose the darker too. You yeah. know why? Even if you cook mm -hmm. something with flour, mm -hmm. a cookie, when it's really brown, yeah. it tastes delicious. Much so much better. better than a cookie which is yellow. And Ew. the pizza though, the same. I mm -hmm. fight with my people in the restaurant sometimes. I didn't say I fight, I just yell at them and say, <laughs> how you can win. you make the pizza dough so yellow? Cook it brown. That's when you get all the flavor. Look oh, at that. Oh, look at that. Wow. A gorgeous. Yeah. And look, you see how juicy that ham is on the, on the middle. You just yeah. see that pile of juice. Yeah. And, and how long does that ham do? 30. 30 minutes. Uh, okay. I mean, that's crazy when you yeah. think about that. I mean, it, you would think these are all-day projects. 
you know, this is the Sunday roast. You know, we got to get up and set your alarm to get, it, know, get it in the oven again. And by the way, don't forget about the cookbook. I know so many of you are adding that to your order. It's really going to give you lots of great ideas, and there's lots of pictures for everything. And um, in 1995, okay, two flex bay of $9.98. Yeah. Marianne did the cookbook. It's 441 It's a big customer pick as well. So I just wanted to quickly mention that. And, you know, it, when you're thinking, and by the way, there's, there's the, the turkey. Is, right? There's the turkey right there. I mean, even if you, you have it, well, you're, if you hesitate to have company because you feel like you know, I can't but now do you're going to have the confidence to have yeah. meat or fish, whatever it is, roasted to perfection. Why? Because there is no steam or no moisture right. escaping. No, I'm so about... everything is sealed yeah. in. So if you make a chicken with rosemary, it would taste like rosemary because nothing escapes. So if you make a roast, no moisture escapes, so then the air is full of moisture from the roast, right. but that's it. The rest stays inside what? instead of sucking it out like in a regular oven. What about baked goods? Could I do brownies or bread in this or no? You can't do that. Can you? Absolutely. Oh, you can yes. bake in these. Yeah. It's ready. Oh. Now look at that. Here we have a big pork roast in here. I love pork. In Austria we grow up with pork. All right. Mm. So you have the release button right down here. See that? Okay. That's how you open the door. So a lot of people actually called me up. They said, oh, Wolfgang, the door doesn't open. So all you have to do is push that in and then you're done. Oh my gosh! So you could, is it, if you cook like let's say you're baking a cake, is yeah. it just a less time? No, it is less time, but it's going to actually rise higher because of the. Oh, yeah. so you're going to get a higher yes. rise out of your Bread, baking? Anything like oh, that? Oh yes. wow! So it's, there's so many things I need. I need to get this. I feel like I look know, at that roast. No, if you're going to roast it like here, we cooked our pork roast with sweet potatoes. Oh look how beautiful so they came if, out. So what you do is you can mash that up. Oh look at that! They just mash right there. They mash. I love, and you know what? I see the ones that are brown. I, I yeah. agree, that's the sweeter sugar coming the, out. Exactly. Yep. That's why I love it like that too. So you don't even need another band. Mm -hmm. mm. Make a sweet potato mash and because it roasted. Oh, that smells so good. And you just cut that in cubes and you're yeah, just mushing it with the bottom of a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, and that, how that, that pan comes with the oven. Isn't it gorgeous? A nine by 13 pan. Oh wait, yeah. this, oh, this pan yes. comes with it. Yeah. I'm, I'm amazed that you can eat things with your fingers that are uh, the, the temperature of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the main thing. I'm like, how is he uh, doing that? No, I am used to that. Because I'm like, you know. let it cool and let it cool. And, and so, okay, so this pan, so this is a roasting pan this that comes with it. This is my roasting pan. No, I see you have a rotisserie there with yeah. the chicken. Yes. Yeah, it's now, the rotisserie, I think that we've got um, the, the roasting pan comes with it, the baking rack, you get the broil rack insert, the crumb tray, and the rotisserie rod also comes with it. It, right yeah. so we haven't even gotten to rotisserie chicken which is of course yeah, we'll, we'll get that too. Uh, mm. look, oh, look at, at that the pork is the same look how juicy you will see in, in a few seconds it's oh that looks so good oh, we're gonna save some of this for our producer Pat because he never gets any food because yeah. I, 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 I heard that Shannon takes all of it holes. so we're gonna, yeah. make sure, <laughs> we're gonna make sure today I promise so him he's just gonna get remember the food. at home before you cut into your roast let it, let it rest for okay. 15 minutes okay. and that way you're gonna get a better roast. Now look at the pork, even the end cut, when you lift it up, see that? Look at that. That's look just that. juicy, juicy, yeah. delicious. Juicy roasted pork. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And this was all one pan. All in one so pan, look, look at that, look at that, look at look that. Look at that, wow. If you, okay. Pork, people always say, is dry, but not with us. Because it's like what you love about a pressure yeah. cooker is a pressure oven. Yeah. Where you're able to roast where it's crispy on the outside and all the meats are juicy. And look roast. at this pork rack here. See that? Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Just drip. And, you know, you're right. Pork is, like, usually kind of dry. Pork, especially the rack, people always complain, ah, oh, the meat is dry, I don't want to buy it. But not when you cook it in a pressure oven. It's delicious. Gorgeous. All right. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Wow. It's, just, it's, it's, it's like you're just pour, it's like a pouring out the juice. Gorgeous. Yeah. Now, Marion just brought over some salmon and some kind of vegetable thing. What are we going to make here? Okay, Marion, I'm going to make something. I don't know. Ask she you. is? Okay, <laughs> are, you, yeah. are you? All right. 
<laughs> I guess All so. Right. Get in there, Mary. Get in yeah, there, Mary. Get in there. Make us something. Make us you something. You have to correct me then if I do it wrong. Um, what do you mean do it wrong? Huh? <laughs> I've never made this before, but oh, I love well, it when you make it. Me either. It's just so ingredient. Your salmon vera cruz. Huh? It oh, look, well, does it look right? You know how to make that. Come does on, it look right? Just make it. <laughs> Bring me a glass. Cruz. I have so a what's... little wine okay. uh, now. It's so fine. I know he puts in tomatoes and onions and capers and olives and he's not too fussy about how it goes but he okay. likes spicy so oh, we'll do yeah. some of uh -huh. these uh -huh. he does. garlic yeah. maybe there you go a little Did bit you like it yeah i do, I do. we'll okay. just do a little bit a little roast garlic and in there and then he does his salmon okay then you just put the always salmon always season everything he tells me and he tells me to make sure if you want every bite to taste good he says make sure you season every bite okay yeah. i never I forgot that when he taught me that i have to be honest i didn't know that you're supposed to do that <laughs> but it makes sense right it makes sense now that you say yeah. oh yeah. i didn't add any oil yet okay yeah. are you gonna add oil i need to right little, for the flavor bit. so you don't even need me see marianne i do she i do she you see next you. Time, i'm so nervous i will send byron over here and you and you're gonna make a whole new cooking demonstration does that look right yeah. all right yeah. now how long uh, do you cook that for i know it's less than 10 minutes okay we'll put it in here less than 10 minutes we're yeah. gonna, how about a phone call chef let's Absolutely. go to eileen in wisconsin who got this oven uh and we're excited to have it come home so eileen you're on live with chef wolfgang Puck. All my name's right, Helen. look at that. Come over here one oh, more hi, time. I'm going to show you. Hi, Eileen. Look in the pressure hi, oven Wolfgang. first. I love you, Eileen, but you have to wait and I'll show you something. Oh, she want, he wants to show you something, so hang look on. Look at We're that, Eileen. Eileen. We're going to release the pressure here. And then I'm going to open it up. Oh, look at look, that. Look at all this. And there? look at the chicken in here. It oh, those are chicken. chicken. Oh, look how crispy it is on the outside, Eileen. This how is what you're getting. How beautiful. And look at that. You get the handle to take it out really easy. Hop. Okay. Look at here, that. Here now you put it on the plate right away. <laughs> Marianne. Thank you for saving me. I know. I, okay. I got her out of the way there. I did. There you go. So, Eileen, what are you most excited about making when you get yours home? Well, everything that Wolfgang has made today looks delicious, but I think I might try um, my husband's favorite, which is a prime rib. Oh. oh. We made a few prime ribs also. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good, that chicken. It looks yeah. to die for. Uh, isn't it amazing? And you know yeah, what? It it's so, so great. Moist. You can put it in the oven, and then <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You put on the timer, and that's it. Uh, that looks so juicy. Yeah, it is. Huh? It's got stuck here. It's not straight in here. There okay, we go. go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there yeah. we go. We have it. All right. And, and and everything. What about the turkey, Eileen? Yeah, I, I saw the turkey, and my husband pointed that out. He said, look at that huge turkey he just took out. <laughs> right? Like, oh, and we one hour. Yeah, that. in one, <laughs> one hour, hour, Eileen. That's the most amazing thing. Now, look oh, at this. Wow. An hour. I one realize. hour, Eileen. Okay. You were ordering when we said that. That's yeah. the entire. Oh, can you I believe didn't even that? Hear that? Oh, yeah. that's unbelievable. Isn't it? That's to me. That's yes. the most incredible thing. Oh, I'm excited about getting this. I can't wait. Yeah, you're gonna buy turkeys and you're gonna eat turkey more often. Forget about for sandwiches, for salads, for whatever you yep. use it. You're gonna just be so happy with that. And yep, it's going to sit on my counter. I'm not yep. going to put it away. Yep. You know, Good. it sits on my counter in my home. Even I have the most amazing stove. I don't know if anybody heard about Molteni. They make great stoves. Uh -huh. They make them to order like if you make a suit. Yeah. But wow. the oven is all underneath there. And I have to get in there. My knees hurt after. So now I never even turn it on. If I have a chef come by to cook for us, if we have a party, one of our restaurant chefs, they use it, but me never. Oh, wow. See, hear that, Eileen? Yeah. Yes, that's amazing. I can't, I can't wait, get, wait to get it. Thank you for offering it, Chef, and it's nice to talk to you. Thank you, Eileen. You know what? Because of people like you, I am here. Aw, bless uh, your heart. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Eileen. You I know, I love have when you call. Great day. Thank you, you too. Thank you so much for calling. Juicier, maybe. I need to, okay. can I grab some of that skin? Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's my favorite part. Okay. I love it. Mmm, mmm, oh, this is so good. <laughs> okay, now look, you can serve that with well, the salad, with our the mashed skin potato. Is crispy. So that's the big deal with the, with the pressure of it. Yeah. Juicy on the inside, crispy on the outside. Yeah. And we've got about four minutes left four in the show. Four minutes left for all of you out there. If you don't want to heat up your kitchen, this will do a perfect job. Oh, that chicken is so good. Yeah. 
I, I love watching you play things. You make it look so know, easy, right? and everything looks brilliant at the end. <laughs> no, I don't I, think I ever I'm have so edited anything so like this in my I life. I tell you. Now, here in the pan, you have a little juices, so you put that in right in oh, here. Oh, look at that, so that you didn't even make a fuss with the gravy. It's built in gravy. Yeah, and yeah. it doesn't really need gravy because it is so good. Okay. Baked potatoes. All right, okay, baked potatoes, I these know. These are one of my favorite things that you do because the oven does it so great. Yeah. All right, guys, we've got our final three and a half minutes of the show. This is the last show of the visit, so all the specials that we're doing go away at midnight. The free shipping and handling on this uh, goes away, and also on our 17-piece cookware set, the free shipping goes away. Uh, so I wanted to let you know, this is, you know, all these specials are for the visit. This is the last few minutes of the visit, three minutes left. So three minutes left. I love now, that. Baked potatoes. You how, know, how you want to make, make it elegant. You can get, where did you buy the, the foil? Online. Online. Because okay. I saw you used it for the Oscars, and it's yeah. so cute. We oh. use them for the Oscars I didn't know the you they even had that. Oh, they have cool. baby ones. Yeah. Oh. Baby little tiny ones. Yeah, because we make them with caviar, so it's expensive. We can't it. So you cut it like that, and then like a cross, basically, a middle cross, and then because you like them hot, you don't yeah. want to cool them down. Okay. Then on both sides, you squish them together like that. See that? See, oh, that look how, look how beautiful so that looks. Yeah. So now, <coughs> do the next one. I show you one more. You just go like that. Just you don't have to go deep down. Okay, just more or less the top. Okay. You know. Okay. Then you kind of squish it together. So, and then so you fluffy. squish it together. See that? Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, it, it reminds the me of those little lucky. things that I had when I was a kid. I want to know what you think <laughs> of me. And you open them up. That's what they look like. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, it's so beautiful one more. and elegant. Now how, now, how long do you cook the baked potatoes for, Marianne? Do you know? I'm, these, I know these were 35 minutes. It depends on the size. On the size. These are huge. Yeah. These, these are huge. Much faster than the yep. oven. Yeah. Oh, look at that. All right. Oh, and we actually have some people calling in and want to know how you clean it. All right. Easy, right? It's yeah. so easy. So do you just wipe off the pan? Yeah, you tell them, Mary. I yeah. wait till I'm done cooking while it's still hot, and then put a pan of water in, like the nine by thirteen pan, whatever the dirty pan that you have. Put some water in it. Let it cook for a little bit, as if you're cooking the water, because what that does is make that superheated steam that's oh, trapped. To go fast so to think about it. All the here. steam goes all over, softens everything, then open it up, cool okay. it for a few minutes till you can touch it, and then just wipe it. All right. Look oh, okay. at our prime here. A little piece of butter because we are celebrating. Yeah a nice week here. If you like bacon, I don't eat bacon today, but maybe a little cheddar cheese, and that's it. You bring that, Beautiful. and then comes the pièce de résistance here, our amazing prime rib. No. Oh, and that's what our caller Eileen wanted yeah, to do. Yeah, Eileen wanted to know that, and look at that, Eileen, oh, what we wow. have for you. With the roasted potatoes right in here. The Juicy on the inside, crisp yeah. on the, oh, mm -hmm. look at that. Mm. Gorgeous. Look at that prime rib here. And by the way, all the cooking times come with the yeah. pressure oven in a booklet. So you don't have to worry, like, how long do I cook this? Uh, don't worry. A little booklet comes in the oven. And for each thing that we're showing you, it has all of the times. Now, and you know, look like how turkey. juicy that is. See that? Oh, I can't even. I can't oh even. Oh, my God. So <laughs> it you decide so good. then how you like it. You know, mm -hmm. some people like it yeah. more on the world well done. Some right. people are rare. Yeah. But what in my house, my wife, Galila, always likes the end cut the most. So... Oh. What do I do? I give her the end cut. Yeah, of course. I like <laughs> happy more wife, happy life. Happy life. <laughs> I like the rear side more, so I eat the slices mm. from the center. And my son Oliver is exactly the same. All right. Well, we do want to mention a few things that we have available because we, uh, you know, as the last show of the visit, um, the, also the carving knife that you saw. Uh, it's a two-piece carving set. Beautiful. So if you're doing a big, you know, kind of friends over for dinner, we have all three colors: black, berry. And opaque, which is the white, and it's under twenty dollars. It was forty, thirty nine ninety five. It's now twenty nine ninety five. Two flex, nine dollars and ninety eight cents. Item number is on your screen. And then we started out with the big seventeen piece stainless oh steel cooking set. We have to come here one more time. At a very Yum. low price of one sixty nine ninety five. Okay. We're gonna see that rice before we go. Okay. Oh my goodness! So seventeen pieces at three hundred twenty nine dollar retail for one sixty nine ninety five. This was for okay. the visit. The seventeen dollar ninety five cent shipping is free. That's for the visit. So that goes away tonight at midnight. That, that's gone. And then we have five flex pay. You're getting the two quart, the three quart, the four quart. You're getting 
getting the grill pan, eight inch uh, omelet pan is Pretty included, uh, 13 inch, you're getting everything, plus all the utensils. It's a huge 10 piece set, plus the lids, uh, oven safe for uh, 400 degrees. Also, to remind you about the high performance yeah. commercial blender that will actually make hot soup. It'll make your frozen margaritas and your delicious, you know, morning drink, health drink, as well as making, you know, carrot soup hot or tomato soup hot, just because it. of the, the how powerful it is. There's no heating element. It's it's the it's a 1,500 mm. uh, watt, and that's the commercial blender. And this and is here the we rice. have our oh, rice. That you smells look at so good. Look at that. Mm. Oh boy, Beautiful. how gorgeous it is. And the rice is cooked. And that was well, you put this in at the top of the show. Yeah. Oh, I look at the eggplant. So what, what I do then with that, I keep it covered like that and it stays hot and steamy. Um, I can smell the pineapple. Yeah. Oh, the pineapples, it looks so good. Mm. Okay, can I, am I allowed to, oh. I just jump right in? Yeah. Mm. That's, mm, that tastes so good. All right. Perfect. Well, this was such a fun two-hour show that thank we did. You. I want to thank Marianne. I want to thank all the people from the kitchen that helped. There's so many mm. helpers that we have right and out here. And mainly we thank you out there, too, for calling in, for shopping with us. You know, it's a pleasure. 20 years already, I can't believe yeah. it. Yeah. You know? But and we when have Marianne, her husband. When and you, when's your next visit? When are you coming back again? I'm going to come back sometimes in June, oh, maybe, June? so okay. until June. Cheers to all of you, and I have to say hello to my wife, Galila, and Alexander, and Oliver, and Cameron. Byron is in the green room over there. He's going to be here next time with me. Oh. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Coming up next, Kelly's here with Joy and Iman, but we're going to just stay here and eat all this food. <laughs> to be surrounded by such beauty and brilliance. <laughs>